Hey there, sunshines! So a few days ago, Us Magazine published an article all about glam masters Mario Dedivanovic and his ultimate makeup rules. So today, I'm gonna go over each one and tell you whether I think that they're brilliant or bogus. But before I get into that, if you want all the beauty secrets of a longtime industry insider that can seriously help you up your makeup game, make sure and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, so that way you guys never miss a thing. So first of all, if you're not caught up on all of this, Mario is a celebrity makeup artist who's best known for creating Kim Kardashian's classic sculpted look. And now he's gonna be one of four judges on Lifetime's new makeup competition show, Glam Masters, which I'm really excited about and would watch purely for the fact that Candy Johnson is one of the judges because I love her so much, but it looks like it's gonna be a really awesome show and I'm pretty excited about it. So onto the beauty secrets that he spilled in his interview to Us Magazine and make sure and let me know down in the comments if you agree with my ratings of bogus or brilliant. So number one, prep for glowing peepers. So he says that the secret he used to get this look on Kim Kardashian is to layer darker concealer around the eye area to use as an eyeshadow primer. So this is gonna give a glossy depth to the eye area as well as create definition when you're not really using liner or lashes. So this one kind of depends on your skin type. For most people, it's a really great trick and it creates a really pretty look. And a lot of makeup artists do tend to use concealer instead of a traditional eyeshadow base. I personally tend to use both because I like the staying power that a specifically formulated eyeshadow primer can give me. And if you tend to have really oily eyelids or just generally have a hard time getting your eye makeup to stay on, then I would probably recommend doing the same as well. But overall, I think it's a really great trick to go minimal on the makeup without sacrificing your look. So the jury says, brilliant. Number two, stack your lashes. So for this look, he stacked individual false lashes with a full strip of lashes to get this really big lash look. Okay, so while this is absolutely gorgeous and for a red carpet event, I can kinda see it, but for the average person, just doing regular strip lashes can be pushing it. I do them all the time, so I'm pretty fast at it, and it's still gonna take me a good chunk of time. And honestly, even for special events for most people, like weddings or proms, I feel like lashes have to be something that's really important to you, and something that you really wanna showcase as your most prominent feature to make the time and effort put into this technique worth the payoff. So the ruling is... Bogus. Sorry, Mario. Number three, go graphic for a little edge. So on this look, he tells Us Magazine that he skipped blending the edges of the eyeshadow to keep the shape a little bit harder. And I love this look for an edgier vibe. It would be killer for concerts, and it's super simple to pull off. Anytime I can skip a step like blending and say I did it on purpose is a good day. I'm rating this one at brilliant. Number four, mix for richness. So for this look, he mixed a nude lip pencil with two different pink lipsticks to get Kate Bosworth's perfect lip shade. So while this can be a little tricky for beginners if you're not used to playing with color, it's a super easy and non-committal way to customize your makeup. And mixing your own lip concoctions is pretty fun too. I give this makeup tip brilliant. Number five, create boundaries. So here he used loose powder under Gabrielle Union's bottom lip to keep her bold lipstick from running. And I just wanna say that first of all, uh, I've learned something today, and that second, I'm going to do this like always now. I have pretty full lips, and so I'm forever cleaning off the big lipstick smudge that I get on the bottom of my chin after I eat or drink. That's why I almost always wear liquid lipstick because I know it's less likely to smudge. So I'm giving this makeup tip a rating of brilliant with an additional tip of life-changing because why didn't I think of that sooner? Number six, intensify with layers. So for this look, he layered both black eyeliner and black eyeshadow to get a really intense long wear look. Doing this is an amazing way to get super staying power from your eyeliners. In fact, it's one of the tips that I mentioned in this video, which I suggest checking out if you want some of my personal favorite eyeliner hacks. 
Tip rating? Brilliant. Okay, number seven. Try out a bold shade. Okay, so apparently he tricked Khloe Kardashian into wearing a bolder purple eyeshadow by telling her it was nudes. What the heck, Us Weekly? This isn't a makeup rule or secret. It's just a funny little story about his work. This look is gorgeous, but I feel like Us Weekly is uh, reaching a little bit by calling it anything other than a cute story. So, bogus, I guess? To be honest, I'm calling bogus a little bit on the title of the whole article. Some of these are amazing makeup tips that I will totally be using from now on, but Mario's ultimate makeup rules? I don't know if that's the way he intended this interview to go. Either way, I am super excited to watch Glam Masters and see all of the awesome talent that I'm sure it will showcase. And if you want makeup secrets from an industry insider that can help you up your makeup game, make sure and subscribe so that way you don't miss any of the videos coming out for you guys on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And as always, feel free to share if you know of anybody that could use a little sunshine in their day.